According to a 2017 report from Radar Online, Theron and Brad's estranged wife Angelina Jolie have been feuding for years over film roles and can't stand each other. The site claimed at the time that Jolie was stalling on committing to a Bride of Frankenstein remake just to irk the blonde beauty. In 2017 Universal Pictures introduced its Dark Universe, a Marvel type of movie crossover family, starting with Tom Cruise's The Mummy reboot, and scheduled to include some of history's most famous horror monsters, including The Invisible Man, starring Johnny Depp, Dr. Jekyll with Russell Crowe, and Frankenstein's monster with Javier Bardem, it was claimed at the time. Then Jolie was courted for The Bride of Frankenstein, it was alleged and Theron was the runner-up. Radar claimed Angie was stringing Theron along, refusing to commit to the project, and denying the star the opportunity to accept other roles, as she awaits a decision. The Radar source also said, Angie hasn't made a deal with Universal to do their next monster flick, but the offer's still on the table. She could use the $20 million paycheck. She seems to enjoy sticking it to Charlize who wanted to do this film and is convinced Angie stepped in to take it off her. The site added they had a turf war for years. The example made by the site was how Theron was considered for a part in the remake of Murder on the Orient Express, which Joe Lee at first turned down, but then wanted. Turns out neither accepted a role for the film, which was later taken by Michelle Pfeiffer. Joe Lee also starred in The Tourist after Theron turned it down. According to Collider, the hate fest between these two started a long time ago and just won't stop, the insider told Radar. It's as though directors are getting a buzz out of playing them against each other, by dangling a script to both of them then leaving them to be and slug it out. Now Theron is romancing Jolie's estranged husband Pitt, 55, the son claimed. They were introduced by her ex-fiancé Sean Penn. It was alleged by the publication. The new lovebirds were all over each over at a showbiz function last week, a source claimed. That function was a showing of the movie Roma at the Chateau Marmont in West Hollywood on January 12th. Interestingly, Jolie attended a Roma event on January 5th. Theron was at the party and Pitt came later after a screening of his movie If Beale Street Could Talk, where he posed with Blanca Blanco. Brad came over to Chateau afterwards changed his outfit and joined Charlize in a corner of the bar, said the insider. She was on a vodka cocktail while he stuck to mineral water, noted the source. He stopped drinking alcohol after his split from Jolie. They were ridiculously touchy-feely and his arm was around her back. At one point he winked at her, said the eyewitness. Brad seemed in a really good place, they both looked really happy, added the source. The power couple started dating around Christmas, it was claimed and they spend a lot of time at his Los Feliz, California mansion, though it was noted she has has yet to meet his kids Zahara, 13, Shiloh, 12, 10-year-olds Vivian and Knox, Maddox, 16, and Pax, 14. Theron has two adopted children, August and Jackson. They have been casually seeing each other for nearly a month now. They've been friends for some time, ironically through Sean, but things have developed said the insider. Reps for the actors have been contacted by Daily Mail. Com. Though Charlize and Brad have never worked together on a film, she has co-starred with his best friend Matt Damon in a movie, 2000's The Legend of Bagger Vance. Charlize was last linked to Swedish actor Alexander Skoshgood of Big Little Lies fame. Pitt's last known romantic partner is Jolie, though there have been numerous reports he is dating ex-wife Jennifer Aniston, all of which have been denied.